Hey everyone, it's Joan as ASP Automator. You know, I, I was just talking with a buddy of mine, uh, Mike Courtney, about it. we were we both are really into AI. He was at the uh, CES, is that what, CX in Las Vegas, um, uh-huh. where they every year they have the newest technology. Um, anyway, he's really into new technology and stuff. But we were talking about AI and different things, and we were we were talking about how possibly AI could you know pay, which I think it does now. When you ask a, if I ask a long question using very long words, I was like, it's probably, because of how the tool works, going to reply in a similar tone. You know what I mean? Naturally. Yes, because, I think it does. Yeah, I would think that works. But what I found, so we we kept talking and talking, and then I was like, oh my God, like this is, it's such a mind warping thing to me to think about this. You could be watching a YouTube video, right? And either you could tell it, or it would even detect and look at you and realize, hey, this guy's not that interested. I need to either, you know, it. so the point is the video isn't static. Videos could be a yeah. thing, just like a live presentation where it's adjusting based on your input, right? Like that to me, yeah. That's yeah well, okay, so, so so here's the thing. Let me, let me think about it. Yeah. We were talking about this particular tool that creates videos based on text. Is right. that what you're referring to? Like no, not in general, but just. Yeah, it's but, but basically the, the idea is that it creates the video, right? right? So right. what you're saying is, yeah, I will generate a video, but while I'm showing it, that's I right. Could it's get really input, screen. right? Right. So right. I can get input from how the people are responding. Yeah. But here's the question here. So this input that I'm getting, are you saying like you're saying it's a live stream? So you're talking to the people, right? Well. No, you're watching. You're watching a live stream. Oh, I, I'm watching a live stream. Okay, yeah. fine. That live stream is actually a computer instead of a person. Uh, okay, and that's what I meant. Right. You realize, hey, this guy's not interested, or you know, I need to throw a bullet. You know how, like, especially is I think Ryan, Ryan and um Kurt, uh-huh. our client, love the fast speed up, play at double yeah, speed. I, I do that right? too. One point well, five. Imagine, imagine when you're hitting that button, it actually isn't speeding up the video. But it's telling the AI, uh-huh. don't go so deep here. Hey, start throwing up bullets, summarize, wrap it, like, okay. you know. Like, like, and so then to- <laughs> you get to an interesting point and you could slow it down and it would it would go deeper into the topics. Or you could okay. say, wait I a understand. minute, what yeah, was this yeah, point? Like yeah. a conversation. And, and it just really. What I'm, what I'm thinking mind. is this. So so basically, because that's what confused me when you said live stream, right? So because well, you can't think of it as a static thing is the point. Right. Okay. So but, but when, when, when I'm saying live stream, at this point, what you're saying is actually, I provide my script of the video to the AI. The AI is going to generate the video for the person that is going to watch it, right? So 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 well, somewhere the static part, the, 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 exactly. That's what I mean. So, so the, right. the, the AI needs some information to start up. Well, the right. topic of the video is this thing. Okay, fine. Now I'm presenting the video to this guy, but he's not interested. Based on the topic, let me make it a little bit simpler for him. It's the same topic, but I'm just right. going to explain it a little bit differently. Right. So just that would be a, the new way of watching well, videos, technically. That's what I'm saying. Like it's right, no longer yeah. a static thing. It's actually adjusting. Right. To where, imagine, like I said, like you, like I want to, or it could, because in market research, you know, we have technology that looks at your eye movements, looks at yeah, how yeah. You have uh, your webcam can, so, right. so face recognition software can tell what, right. what mood you're in. And right. probably if it gets to a point that it can detect that somebody's bored, right. or it's just fiddling yeah. or looking around. Or even if it's not, we just say, you know, it's cued off of you saying, hey, speed it up. Oh my God. Right, exactly. That <laughs> right. it's not actually jumping in the video the, right. video the stream itself gets adjusted and that now here's here's a problem with that so so I, I do get the idea it is very interesting but that means then that you and i were never watched the same video even if right. you give me the same Absolutely. link right? right the one that you saw and the one right. that i saw are totally it's different. all personalized it's all right. relevant right it's it's what it's a total but i'm like i can totally see it happening right at some point where you're like Hey, I, you know, there's this great um, topic, and I want to start diving into it. But I mm-hmm. want 
it's like I get to talk to an expert that is customizing what he's saying. Technically, so 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 the the idea behind like making tutorial videos is that then I cannot ask questions. But right, if it is personalized, right? If right. it is personalized, then right. that means oh, I I don't want to go that deep. I just want an overview. So my video is going to be kind of like an overview, just the one that I watched. Right. Well, and you can even say, wait a minute, what was? Hey, I didn't understand that. Can you right. explain that? Yeah. Down? Okay. That, that's amazing. Adjust it. Now, here's the thing, the the fact that the, this might be a possibility is kind of like a 100% sure kind of thing because right. Netflix, for example, I remember a while back, there was this series called Black Mirror yeah. and, and they had this interactive episode in which this right. episode, there had some situations in which you had to choose right. what was going to happen to the character so or there was a junction yeah. and you had to make a decision right you're using your control you could select one or the other and the story would shift to toward right. the second different part of the right. story but this what you're describing is basically the same thing but a little bit more without a control and and without predefined videos it is right. something that and gets generated right. in the like that's right it can go amazing. anywhere depending on yeah how I would, you're i would say i would say that is totally a possibility that is not yeah, something I, that it, is it crazy. may not happen in the next two years right it yeah. might be three to five years or something because yeah there's a lot to go on in there but still and but the idea to be like because i'm sure also you could say i could tell hey Isaiah, i know we're both trying to learn javascript on doing blah blah blah. i watched i i watched slash created a great stream you might want to check out but then you would have it and you could probably replay it but then he could be like i already know this shit joe yeah yeah exactly <laughs> like yeah. hey okay this is new all right slow it i want to learn more in here right and it would yeah. it would adjust also but just yeah that's, like that's, I said, a, that's an, a very interesting idea and i think it is not only a possibility it's right how we're going to go people like personalized content anyways well, and that was where i was just going to go next was you know you're more of a native spanish speaker i'm english right so you could easily have the thing created in it's your special. language yeah Not that even using your voice i was telling mike i'm like i read these books years ago from julian simon who's an economist and i was reading the books i'm like god this guy's really brilliant i just love that and all of a sudden i realized i think he's so damn smart because it the books i also i think i could have written them they're written in exactly how i write and speak and uh -huh. that was why i was like thinking <laughs> so smart right everyone thinks you're smart right yeah, you know, yeah exactly says, i'm smart I'm smart but yeah exactly that was why it was like i was really getting it because it's exactly how i write and okay. so I was, I was digesting the information so easily and i'm like oh right. my god these points are brilliant it's so simple but i'm like that's because it's exactly it's how just, i think yeah about. probably another person reads that and doesn't get it and he right. thinks this guy right. doesn't know what he's talking about right. but it's but just imagine, because he's not getting it <laughs> yeah imagine the way the information is presented to you gets adjusted to you right like that, is that means you can that means you can learn faster as well right. not only not only the video is going to be more interesting to you but also you're going to learn faster yeah. because topics are going to be explained in a way that you right. understand right. basically we, wow. so and i didn't even think about it i was talking to dr cook my my other buddy this morning and uh, about ai and this that and like new york city the school systems have blocked chappy gpt right at right at least right now because they're like oh we can't handle blah blah, blah. And, and him and i were talking about going like that's really really the wrong really approach right a couple several reasons one yeah. is it, what their kids are gonna get around it anyway right that, that's a stupid one but also like it's just a tool you know and whether like i was telling them it's look no <laughs> it's and i i think at some point in high school or something i did stuff like this where i would write cheat sheet notes Look, the point is, if I write cheat sheet notes and I write them and I study and I'm as I'm writing them, I actually learn the topic because I wrote them so much. What does it matter? Like if I don't <laughs> use them, like you know what I mean? If I know this, but I would stuff, say I, I say I would say the best analogy for that would be what happened to calculators. So calculators are banned in schools and whatever. And I'm like, dude, right. it's a tool. Why do I have to manually? Right. multiply divide and do a lot of right. things when i have a tool all the time in my pocket that can do that right. i think chat gpt would become a tool that we're going to have to ask it to do stuff right. but 
if you don't know how to use it, you're gonna be behind, which is absolutely what happens right. to a lot which, of people. Oh, I don't know computers, right? Because right. you never used one. Right. That's right. And That's now what we were saying was it yeah. actually is gonna harm the kids more than actually helping them. What you need to do is change your testing to say, hey, we're actually gonna only have in you know handwritten tests. You know, right. whatever, or that, oral dissertations where you have to explain it. And if I ask you a question, you need to know in your head. You know, how to, that's, it's, I agree with you there that instead of banning the stuff, you should just uh, uh, adapt to right. it. So Find a way to incorporate if, it. if I cannot tell between a, a, a test yeah. written by a student and a test written by GPT, that means that the way that I'm testing is wrong. Not ah, that they're right. doing something Great wrong. Point. Right. It's my point. Right. It's my problem. So, yeah. yeah. But back to the point, this is what made me think about it, because we were talking about it, like, a you know, like teachers don't have enough time to help every student, right? right. ChatGPT could be that tutor. Hey, you're stuck on this thing. You don't understand it. Just tell it, hey, give me another example. Like, explain it to me this way. And for every kid, it would adjust how it is explaining it. Like, that is unbelievable, right? right. It's, it's going to be crazy powerful. And to just... <laughs> say no ban this thing overall it's it's it's, it's just another tool right and can it be used I would say, correctly? Yeah, I would right. say in, in my case as i was saying like just imagine that i i have to deal with the sql database i'm not that good at it because i'm still learning or whatever but i have to give this to the client should i spend three hours trying to figure right. out something that i could do in 15 minutes right the answer is no i shouldn't why should a student spend five hours writing something that is not going to help him in the long run when he can get better or understand? Well, I guess the, the, the main idea is like, oh, they're not going to get better. They're going to get lazy. Yeah, well, that's that's the idea behind it. But compared to that, you using your car is lazier than the guy that was walking exactly. 10 miles. right? Exactly. So, yeah, it's so, just so another what? tool, right? That's, another tool. Tool. That's, that's the problem. You're lazier. Yeah, yeah. what's the problem right. with that? Right. If that right. is part of your life, yeah, come I on. I pass along the savings to other people and I make more too. That's That to me is a win-win. Now, there's times where you do need to know certain information, right? Like, it, it, you know, if I'm a carpenter and I, I'm doing stuff and I'm out in the country where there's no electricity and no whatever, no internet. You need to know how to do I, it know. without it. Yeah, right. Which, which and we're not is, arguing that. Yeah. Right. And, and and this is the part now that it becomes kind of like, this is what they argue as well. Like, yeah, but they need to know even if the tools are not available. I agree. Now, your testing shouldn't remove new tools or ban new tools. Yeah. It should incorporate them. So now you have they, to find a way to well, figure it out, right? More importantly, what I would, which is what you alluded to earlier, they need to take a step back and say, what really is important, right? What do What do we have to make sure that they know? And right now, a lot of the world is like, you need to know how to solve problems. You don't actually need to know how to do the stuff. No, you no. Solve. You need to know where to find the answer because right, right. now everything is one Google right. away, right? right? So, but but there's a lot of people having Google in their pockets that you ask them stuff. I they don't even know how to search for it. Oh, is that, is that's the crazy part. You and I have talked, and Jackie, we've talked about it where people you know that we work with, they're like, God, hey, can you help me with this? How do you do this? And then you go there and you go on Google and you type, how do I do this? And then you come up with a video showing you exactly, you're like, you you couldn't do that? Like, you know, with the whole Google this for me or, you know, let me Google yeah, it. Yeah, let me, let me like, Google that for you. Yeah. So, yeah. But, um, but again, and, and we both I, know, I guess, I guess chat GPT is one more in that list of tools that now we're, right. we're in, in, in this transitional period. And whenever we have this transitional period, there's going to be a lot of backlash, a lot of problems, a lot of, uh, 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 you know, people disgruntled by the fact that they don't understand the tool and they don't want to understand it, while that tool is actually the feature. It, it, I, yeah. And here's the other thing. Jackie and I talked about this years ago in a podcast. If you want to take, quote, quote, unquote, the high road and say, hey, if I use that, people are going to lose their jobs because it's not employing people and blah, blah, blah you know what, you're going to lose your damn job because other people are going to use the tool and undercut you and be more efficient. Be more efficient. Like it's just, That's for sure. The problem is That's you're never 100%. putting that back in the bottle, 
right? right. Like, there's no way around it. There so, is no way. As soon as that became public, right. everybody knows that well, they can use it. Somebody's going to use it right. for something it, that. Imagine with the whole car and and before with horses. Yeah. If first, people were like, well, you know, I'm not buying a car because people are really important that have horses. That's an important thing. And blacksmiths, it's an important trade. But they were like, they were right. like that, you right. know, like they were. I, I were right. And yeah, then they, I, I, I can guarantee right. having cars was not an easy thing. That was a very right. complex time yeah. for a lot of people because, of course, the people who right. were making carriages yeah. and right. you know, built with horses are going right. to lose their jobs. Right. They had to find something else to do. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. and by far the best thing you can do is just don't. It's the whole thing with the economics mm -hmm. too, and trade uh, and, and where you block other things and put tariffs on things. The best thing you can do is just let it happen and re educate the people that used to do the thing into doing something else to actually, you know, don't keep adding more cost to the thing. Because when you add a tariff to whatever, it's just adding more cost, so the local companies can compete. Because now, let's say China, whoever's not can't sell their stuff for cheaper, but all the consumers buying the stuff are paying more than they would have to, right? Yeah. Like it's just like let let it go through, and then you know people let's see what we can do about it. Yeah. But in this yeah, case, right. I do understand their concern. I do understand, but I think, as you mentioned, the dam is open now. It's, this thing right. is gonna there's, yeah. There's no way for you to close no to this. It doesn't matter what you try. Right. I right. think that from here to 10 years, AI is going to be so oh, be much wild. part of, yeah, but yeah. we have AI already on your phone because your assistant, sure. Alexa, is right. a type of AI. Oh, she turned on. <laughs> but those guys, they, they are some type of AI that it is very rudimentary. What are we going to say? Right, right. So it's just like, it's it stupid, right? Chat GPT is just going to replace them. That's the only yeah. thing that it's going to do. So, yeah. And and that's just, you know, with what we've seen of it in another year or two years, it's just going to be insane what we're doing. Yeah, right. that's for sure. And just just ask a teacher if they can prevent a, right. a student from just asking, hey, Google, tell me right. what is 10 plus 52. It's just going right. to tell the number. You, you're going to prevent them from that. Right. And now teach them how to use them correctly and you're going to have very smart teach uh, very smart students doing very smart yeah. stuff but very, i love very, the point too though with with my friend gabe we're talking about how just imagine you having this tutor that never gets you know always has time for you <laughs> yeah always can break it down like you and i both know when we're teaching people with auto hotkey it usually it, it, it goes great and then sometimes even when you it's just hard to keep focused on the same thing if someone's not getting it and you gotta this is why usually when we have calls with clients i make sure we're both on the call because yeah. often what if one of if someone's not understanding something i'll throw it out there in a different way just to help them go oh you know you yeah. just never know right and but imagine having a tool that's always there for you and just we were talking about it like you know one of the best things for kids is to have a two-parent household right and yeah. when you do the the People typically wealthier, whatever, but it's just you know they're they when they have a two parent held uh, uh, household, the kids actually have their parents helping them a lot, right? Yes. In the one parent household, or sometimes even none, where the kids don't even live at home, they get like no support. This tool is gonna really help fill the voids in some of that stuff, like right, like in so many levels too. That's and for sure. It's it's crazy to be like no no you know what we like you said it, it, they might cheat on something or we think they're cheating so we're just going to block it for everybody like that's <laughs> yeah I, I just imagine so so uh, let's ask the question in this particular way maybe maybe it will make more sense so we have a tool that probably at some point we can give it two genomes and say what's the difference and why is this one has cancer and this one doesn't right. and it could spot the difference in right. seconds yeah do you want to block that just because somebody's cheating on a test, that doesn't make sense. You know, like you're going to stop progress just because you don't like how this is looking like right now. That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, yeah. It was the whole thing I've seen where people talk about um, if you have used chat GPT or other tools to write blog posts, well, Google and other ones can detect that you use an AI and yeah. they're not going to serve up your research. And I'm like, why that's, for, would, that's, that's right now probably 
Right, but, but even then, I'd be like, why? Like, why? if it's answering a question that nobody else has really answered and they do a better job, isn't that better than and nothing? Not only that, like, like Google works in a way that it just checks how many people click on the stuff. Right. So if that particular article is going to be right. more engaging, right. I guarantee Google is not going to block it that easily, right? So I agree. Yeah, they should. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, so yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys like like the video or comment below if you, if you know if you disagree with us and some of the stuff. I, I'd I'd love to hear the logic and stuff why, but um, like I said, just that thought of the videos not being a static. Here's the video; it's dynamically adjusting to you, uh, and just where the world's going is just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers.